trying to hear from Tame Side Wellness Centre. So I decided today to do a bit of a stretch class. Um, I'm quite well known for high impact. Um, quite my classes are quite tough. Um, I'm quite happy that I do have that reputation. Um, but one of the main things that we always do forget, and I'm one of the worst people for it, I will completely own up to you, is getting in some stretches. So we're going to do a little bit of stretches today. Um, a little bit of strength and a little bit of lower back rehab. Um, so the first one we're going to do is what we call a superman. So we're going to lie nice and flat. Onto the floor. And we're going to do the supermans. So it's alternating, bringing one hand up and then one hand off. Okay, so one arm here and then your opposite leg. So we're just going to lift nice and gently, 12 reps in total. Four, three, two, and one. Lift and back. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Change arms. So this time this other arm comes down, raising the opposite arm and then the other leg. Back in for those twelve reps. In we go. Twelve. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, nice and controlled, 3, 2, and 1, hands at the side. Slightly push yourself up. This time we're going to come into the supermans again, but we're going to be on our knees. So we're going to alternate, do exactly what we did on the mat, but this time we're onto the knees. Superman again, alternating. We're going to do 12, uh, we're going to do 12 on each side. We'll do that again. So try not to make sure your back's rounded, sticking out the bottom, pulling in that stomach, but also pushing your back, chest out to keeping that back nice and straight. 12 reps. 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Change sides. We're going straight in, team. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Bringing both knees down to the ground. Okay, let's come up onto the feet. Keeping the legs a little bit wider than the shoulders. Slightly, so they're not together. We are slightly a little bit wider than the shoulders. And we're just going to keep our legs straight. We don't bend them. And we're just going to do a couple of good mornings. And if you have got any resistance at home, you could grab the resistance and put it on your chest. If you haven't, then we're just going to do them body weight anyway. So let's get 12 good mornings in. So we're just going to pivot over at the hips and stretch back off. 10 more. 10. Keep the back nice and straight. 9. Head up. 8. 
Stretching off those legs. Seven. Six. It's the hamstrings and the calves. Lower back. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, this time we're going to do some hip ups. So we're going to come back down onto the floor. Again, it's nice and controlled. We're going to lift our bottom up off the floor, keeping our hands and feet on the floor. And then we're going to alternate. So right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot, but nice and controlled. We're just going to go for 12 reps in total. So there's six each side. So we lift up the bottom, make sure you're nice and comfortable, hands underneath the shoulder, so you're just supporting your weight here. So don't be too far back, nice and firm, pull in that stomach. We're gonna switch, tap, switch, tap, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. This time we're going to do the high plank. We're going to move over. <laughs> we're going to raise the leg nice and controlled. So it's a leg raise. Now you can, if you wish, do them on your knees. So again, hands underneath the shoulder. One leg comes out. And we're just going to leg raise up and back down. Trying to keep your hips facing the mat. So try not to be twisting too much. If you wish to come up into a high plank, you have the option as well. And then we leg raise into that high plank. It's wherever you feel most comfortable. So we're going to do 12 reps on each side. So I'll do the first six low plank, second six high, just so I'm giving you the alternatives. First one, leg straight, pull in that stomach, like you possibly want to, wanting to go for a wee. Pull it in. Don't let anything relax. Leg nice and straight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. You keep going. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And then we're going to change sides. So whichever way you've decided to do it, on the knees or off. Let's go and switch legs. Let's balance out that body. Leg nice and straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bring that down. This time, we're going to do the cobra. So we're going to lie face flat on the floor, hands at the side. We're going to push up to the ceiling, looking up to the ceiling, just extending our lower back. So let's lie nice and flat onto the floor. Bring the hands to the side, tuck in those elbows. Keep the hips on the floor, push them down onto the floor, hands here, I'm going to do 12 reps, 3, 2, 1, and we lift, extend, hold, bring it down, hold, nice and controlled, 10 more, 10, this feels really nice, oh, 9, <clears throat> back, eight, nice and steady, seven, and again, six, looking up to that ceiling, five, really feel that in that lower back, four, three, Two, one, and bring yourselves back down. Excellent, everybody. This time, we're going to do 
just a little bit of flexion around the, the hips. Shoulders down, feet together, twist over here. We're going to bring the hands out to the wet side and we're just going to move our legs down and then switch sides. So if you wish, you can do these nice and steady in your yoga pants, bare feet or your socks or I've let myself because I've been out for a dog walk, really stretching off around that hip area. Definitely a good stretch if you're a runner, like I am. Really getting that flexibility around that hip area and the lower back. Okay, we're gonna do four more, two more on each side. There's one of them. Switching over to the other side, keep your shoulder blades on the, on the mat. One more each side, switching over. Something that I've started to do every day, stretch in the morning, stretch at night. Excellent. Slowly bring yourself up. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to give yourself a love and then I'm going to ask you to rock. So I want you to come onto your back and I want you to give, pull yourself in as tight as you can and then I just want you just to rock each side over and over, just giving that little bit of a wobble, a little bit of a rub. Don't forget, you need to be really giving yourself a love. Don't relax that. Hold yourself nice and tight. Try not to rock over. Just those, just a nice little rock. Lower back. Push that back into the mat. And massage that out. Really nice, especially if you've got a little bit of a tight back, which I actually do have from running. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, this time I'm going to take you back onto your knees. Over we go. So we're going to round the back and we're going to dip the back. So different hands are always underneath the shoulders for support. We're going to round like the pussycat, pulling in that stomach. Pull it, pull it, pull it and hold. And then we're going to dip the back. So this time we're going to just push right the way through that lower back, right the way here. Push it through. Okay, let's curl it. Curl it back up again, back into that pussy calf. Round, hold it there. Okay, let's push it back out again. Dipping that back in. Okay, let's do four more. There's four. Four, pulling that stomach. Rounding off that back, switch, sticking out that bottom and that chest, feeling that in the lower back as you extend. Okay, let's round that off, hold it there, and one more dip. Dip it nice and well, sticking out the chest and the bottom. If you're doing that the right way, you should really begin to feel that at the lower back. Excellent and relax. Bob ourselves down onto our feet. Put the hands above the head. And now I want you to push your chest into the floor, trying to keep your bottom down and just stretch off, reaching out through those tippy fingertips. Hold it there. Three, two, one. Okay. This time we need to come onto the knees and we're just going to go into <clears throat> a back stretch. So I want you to pull your arms out and I want you to try and imagine you've got a tree. So you're going to go and hug it. 
So you put your arms right around that trunk. So it's not small, it's out here. So you're opening up your shoulder blades. Then we're gonna drop the chin. Now as you drop the chin, stretch across the top of those shoulders on the upper back, just, um, just brings it on that little bit more of that stretch. Pull in that stomach, hold. And relax. Okay, let's go and do that again. Just that last time. Arms out. Hug a tree. Open up your shoulder blades. And slightly drop your chin. Make sure we're breathing at all times, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. And there's a little bit of a stretch for you this morning. Okay, I hope you all have a lovely day. If you're doing, um, doing your stretching off at night, have a lovely night's sleep. And um, let's see if you can plan what you'll be doing for your next day of your exercising. See you all soon. Take care.